Hi, my name is Dr. Hans Gruen. I'm one of the alternative physicians in Los Angeles. What I want you to know about is stress, adrenal fatigue, and how it relates to energy. The adrenal glands are profound in their effect on our health. Now, obviously, everybody knows if you have low adrenals, you're going to be tired and exhausted. Right. But did you know, for example, that if you don't lose weight, that it might be due to adrenals? It very well might be because adrenal stress blocks your ability to lose weight and creates what's called weight loss resistance. Do you know that, for example, if you're not overcoming a cold or a flu within a week or let's say 10 days, but it goes on forever, weeks after weeks, and you're not quite getting out of it, that this could be a symptom of low adrenals? Yes, it can, because adrenals, again, are the resiliency of your body and are responsible to, for how fast you're going to kick back after a stressful situation. Um, did you know, for example, that if you're irritable, if you can't handle stress, if you get overwhelmed very easily, um, that this is due to adrenals? Yes, it is, because a certain level of adrenal exhaustion will then lead to the fact that everything appears as stress and everything is overwhelming. And you, it's not the environment that's overwhelming, it's actually you that is depleted, and due to that depletion, um, you perceive the world in that way. So everything becomes stressed because you are stressed out. And the end result then of an adrenal exhaustion, if you overdo, if you don't sleep, if you are pushing the envelope, burning the candles, um, candle on both sides for too long, is that you slide more and more into adrenal exhaustion, and that leads then to adrenal burnout, and that's not where you want to go. In order to avoid adrenal burnout, there are three things I want you to know. Number one, you have to be aware of how much stress you're under. For example, if you don't sleep or you think you can get away with four or five hours of sleep, long term, not short term, long term, you're mistaken. Our body needs sleep, otherwise it cannot recuperate. If you think you can do without ever switching off your cell phone or your iPod or your, your uh, tablet, you're mistaken. You need to give your body rest and peacefulness so that it can heal and recoup, otherwise you're not going to come out of it. And then you should know where your adrenals stand. Where is your DHEA, which is a blood test? Where is your pregnenolone, which is another adrenal hormone which you can measure? Where is your cortisol level? Um, you can even measure a circadian rhythm in your cortisol, because cortisol should be high in the morning where you jump out of bed, and then low at night where you sleep. And many people are tired in the morning, and that means their cortisol level is low in the morning, and then they're activated at night, that means their adrenals are still pumping and that they can't sleep. So it's a reversal of the circadian rhythm that regulates the adrenals. So you should know where you stand. And then obviously there's all kinds of supplements from DHA to pregnenolone, to herbal, to glandular adrenals, B vitamins, licorice, so-called adaptogens, ashwagandha, ginseng, normally in concoctions that work to support you and give you energy and overcome an adrenal crisis.